When you're following a specialized diet plan, whether it be vegan or keto or low carb, you're constantly searching for snacks and dessert ideas that fall directly in line with your diet plan. And the recipe that I'm gonna show you today, you guys, does exactly that for me. With the key ingredient being this hard working cottage cheese. So I'm gonna take it along with some fruit and some chocolate and I am going to turn it into what you've been seeing all over TikTok and that being one of those viral dessert clusters. But instead of using yogurt, which you've been accustomed to seeing, I'm going to use this cottage cheese. And I'm gonna show you how to put it all together coming up next. So one of the reasons why I absolutely love this hard-working cottage cheese, you guys, is the fact that it falls right in line with what I wanted to accomplish this year, and that is to increase the amount of protein that I'm intaking with you guys. I'm trying to get some muscle here. <laughs> so I came into this year knowing that there I need to do some tweaking to my diet, and that was to decrease the amount of fat that I was intaking and increase the amount of protein. And this kind of cheese right here falls directly in line with that. And then in addition, for this particular recipe, I'm also adding some um, protein powders, vanilla, and that will also increase the amount of protein that I'm getting. So you guys get all the ingredients coming close and let's make these dessert clusters together. So let's start with our fruit. So this has already been rinsed. These are the blueberries that have already been rinsed. There's nothing else that needs to be done with this, but the strawberries. What we need to do is to slice these into small chunks. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and put these back into our container. So the next thing that we need to do is to go ahead and prep that cottage cheese into my Nutri Blender container. This goes along with protein powder and some sweetener. And blend. Okay. And this is ready. Nice, smooth, and creamy. Okay. So, next what we're going to do is we are going to split this between my two fruit. And of course, you guys, if you wanted to use just one, you can do that. But I decided to add a little variety to this. Okay, so I've got some here. Okay, so now that we have this in here, the next thing to do is to go ahead and just simply mix this fruit in. And in looking at this, if you feel like you need more fruit, before we go on to the next step, which is putting this into the freezer, then that's exactly what you would do. So it's looking like I'm going to need a little bit more fruit in the strawberry, I'm sorry, in the blueberry flavor. So let me go ahead and take care of that. And then we will move on to the next. Okay, now these are ready. Now the next step is to freeze these. So you've got options here. You can use a silicone mat. some parchment paper, or what I am opting to use today is this silicone mold. And I love it because it is going to give me the perfect 
bite-sized dessert. All right. Okay, using my scoop, I am just going to fill these with this mixture. Now off to the freezer, this goes. Hello everyone, it is actually the next day. It was getting late you guys and this did not set um, as quickly as I needed it to to continue filming yesterday. So I let it actually sit in the freezer overnight because the whole piece this whole thing is that you want to coat these yogurt clusters, actually cottage cheese clusters, versus mixing in the chocolate. So these have got to be completely set and firm, which is exactly what these are. So in this bowl, I've got my dark chocolate, which is my preference. If you wanna use milk chocolate, you can do exactly that. And then I have a little bit of butter. I'm gonna stick this in the microwave so that these can melt together and we're gonna end up with a creamy workable chocolate. And then next time you see me, you guys, we will start to dip these cottage cheese clusters into this chocolate will be one step closer to completing this project. I'll see you soon. Okay, everyone. Now this is the melted chocolate. It is smooth and glossy. And I was able to get this consistency by adding the fat from the um, butter into it. And optionally, if you want to add coconut oil, you can do exactly that. Didn't have any coconut oil. So I used what I had, which was some butter and I'm loving the way that looks. So at this point, you guys, it is time to get those clusters out of the freezer and we are gonna start to dip. Okay, here we have it. So for the sake of time, I'm just gonna go ahead and take these out of this mold. All right, you guys. Now let's have a little fun move this over here or maybe over here let's move this here okay it'll be easier for me to reach it this way okay all right kind of put that in coat it and then take it out And you know, guys, you know what? I think this is starting to harden already because these clusters are cold. Oh, I love it. Okay. I love it. Look at that. That's starting to harden. Slide that off, give it some room. So I am going to continue on until I get all of these coated. And then they're gonna go back in the freezer, probably not for too long, I'm not exactly sure at this point, until that coating is absolutely firm. And you guys, it will be time to give these a taste. I'll see you soon. All right, everyone, so the dipping is done. So as you can see, I was starting to run low on my chocolate. So what I decided to do was to go ahead and drizzle some of the chocolate on the top, which makes it kind of fun for me because I use two different fruits in my clusters. So this way I get to see exactly what it is, blueberry versus strawberry. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna put these back in the fridge just for a couple minutes because as I said before, these are hardened because of the coldness. And um, coming up next, we're gonna give these a taste. Okay, everyone, the wait is over. Look at this platter of deliciousness. Oh my gosh, Lord, I thank you. So, I'm gonna do strawberry. The one that I know is strawberry, which is this one. Let's go ahead and give this a taste. Mmm. You guys, oh, I was just smacking on camera. <laughs> it's smack delicious good. That thing is so good. That is so good. Give this a try, you guys. I promise you. 
you will not be disappointed. This cottage cheese just keeps on giving and I am receiving you guys. This is phenomenal. A few simple ingredients, your imagination, you guys, and before you know it, you have got yourself a healthy, low carb, high protein dessert. Oh my gosh. Give it a try and leave in the comments that you did and let everybody know, okay, what you did to make it your own kind of special. And until we meet again, keep growing, keep thriving, keep pushing those boundaries, and I will see you all real soon on my next Fit Fat 50. Thank you, you guys, and enjoy.